Hey guys, Paige with Canine Companions, and I am out with Batman. Batman came in yesterday, and he came in on um, this collar and leash, uh, a retractable leash. Retractable leashes are not my favorite. Uh, if you've been following my page, you have probably heard me mention this from time to time or you've seen a post about it. Uh, but it's been a while since, since I shared my thoughts on it, so I thought I would take this opportunity. So, in my opinion, I really, really honestly dislike retractable leashes there are many reasons why um, and there's probably only one possibly two good reasons to have a retractable leash one is if you have a puppy um, and you're potty training you can put a retractable leash on the dog when it's raining and you can kind of stand um, under the shelter and let your dog have some leash to go out in the yard and do business, take care of business. So, um, it comes in handy in that situation. One other reason, um, is possibly for teaching the recall. I know some trainers use it for teaching the recall, but you have to be pretty proficient with uh, letting the leash in and out and using the button um, while you're teaching recall. Whoops. Uh, sorry, we have potty time. So, um, typically I don't recommend that for um, you know the average pet owner good boy good potty that's a good boy um so try do your best to stay away from retractable leashes and i'm even hesitant to share the the positive points of a retractable leash because once you have one um it's easy to oh well this one's handy so I'm gonna use it to take my dog for a walk. Um, and that's really not something, look at him. He's sitting, sitting in the sun, partial sun. Cutie patootie. Um, so you really should not walk your dog on a retractable leash. Because, come on Batman, Batman. Good job. Because this is what your dog does. Uh, is he paying attention to me? No. Uh, and see, there is tension on his collar. And what do most people do when there's tension on the collar? They push this little button and let out. See, I'm not even proficient with this one, but um, there we go. They feel tension and they push the button and they get more leash which come here let's do this all right let's see. see that tension right there tension on the leash what usually happens when a dog reaches the end of the leash on a retractable leash and there's some tension they let out the button and the dog learns tension on the leash means I pull a little bit and all of a sudden I get more leash. So they actually get reinforced for pulling on the leash, which when you're trying to teach a nice walk, um, that's the exact opposite of what you want. You want a dog to learn, oh, there's tension on the leash. I need to yield in direction of that leash. I need of that tension. I need to release the tension on the leash by moving 
in the direction of the tension. Like right now, I'm pulling, but he's not really coming into my side. Oh, so now we're just going to lay down and roll. All uh, right. Come on, buddy. So, we don't want to teach tension is released by pulling. We want to teach tension is released by yielding in the direction of the tension. So, that's, and that's one of the biggest things that owners bring their dogs to me for and that owners surrender their dogs to shelter is they are pulling so super hard on the leash. They're dragging their owners to, to the ground. They're causing rotator cuff problems. They're causing, um, you know, tennis elbow problems, all sorts of things. So, not a fan of retractable leashes. Um, but, most people don't know. Most people um, think, oh, well, this comes in handy. It's pretty convenient. Um, it gives my dog lots of room to explore and have fun. But while you're giving all that room and freedom and fun, your dog is rehearsing bad habits. Your dog is rehearsing pulling on the leash. Your dog is actually rehearsing. I don't have to pay attention to the person that's out here with me. They're gonna follow me around. I get to pull and drag them wherever I wanna go. They're just somewhat of an anchor back there. And so he's not looking to me for direction. He's not uh, tuned in at all. It's all about, oh, this is my time. This is time for me to follow my nose and drag my person where I want to go to sniff the bushes. Um, I don't want to go where she's going, so I'm just going to pull. Uh, so your dog is rehearsing ignoring you. So stay tuned. We'll remedy this. We'll introduce uh, some new training equipment, a prong collar, that is a, a great tool for reversing what he's used to on leash. All right, guys, stay tuned.